Welcome Pokemon fans, I am Angel of the Night 091 and today we have a challenge coming into us uh, from Xavier. Uh, looks like he's got a Staraptor, a Tyranitar, Jolteon, Infernape, Empoleon, as well as a Torterra. Now this is uh, Kalos rules of course, uh, so we're just going to go ahead here and select our team. You guys will know exactly what team I'm selecting here as we get into the battle. Alright, so good luck there, Xavier, and uh, have an awesome battle there with me today. Uh, so good luck. Uh, so we're getting right into the match here. I'm going to lead off here, I believe, with my Infernape. So we're just going to get right into that match. Alright, so in comes the Infernape here. And it looks like he's going to lead off here with his Jolteon. Now with Jolteon onto the field, now that is a special attacker, so I'm actually going to go out and swap out into my Blossom. I don't want to take a hit onto the Infernape from the Jolteon just yet, uh, so that's why I'm going to go into Bella. Now Bella should be able to survive most attacks. Ooh, gone for the swagger the Jolteon has. And uh, the attack was raised sharply, and of course now I'm confused, which is, it's okay. Um, I'm going to go for the Energy Ball here. Looks like the Jolteon's going to go for the Thunder. Now, Thunder's not going to do a whole pile of damage. Uh, just mainly because I do resist it as I'm a Grass-type. Looks like it was a critical hit. And unfortunately, I am also paralyzed now. So I've got some Parafusion going on. Uh, not able to attack, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I am going to regain some health there with my Leftovers. Uh, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to try to get another energy ball. Uh, maybe get energy ball to take a hit here. Looks like the Jolteon's going to withdraw, which doesn't make sense to me. He's going to go into the Star Raptor. Now the Star Raptor's got the Intimidate off, and I am confused here. Will I be hurt by confusion? Looks like I've got the energy ball off, but it's probably not going to do a whole lot of damage to that Star Raptor. Uh, I'm going to regain some health there with the leftovers, of course. And uh, because it is a Star Raptor, I should probably go into the Mighty Kingler. But I am actually going to go with Tauros to lower its attack power. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. So it, back comes the Blossom and out goes Ted, our Tauros. There's the Intimidate. Now the Intimidate hits the Star Raptor, lowering its attack power. And he's going to go for the Brave Bird. Now the Brave Bird is going to hit Tauros right to the face. And that's done quite a decent amount of damage, about almost half. I'm actually going to go for the Wild Charge. So I'm going to be able to attack first, here's the Wild Charge, and down goes that Star Raptor. So Ted has pulled through and uh, destroyed that Star Raptor. Now of course I am going to get hit by the recoil damage from the Wild Charge, of course. Uh, and then we're just going to wait to see what he's going to come in there with next. So it looks like it's going to be Tyranitar coming into play. Uh, also setting up the Sandstream. Now with the Sandstream, uh, I'm going to lose health uh, quite uh, slowly, of course. But uh, I'm going to save the Tauros. Let's go out, I think back out to Blossom. Uh, if I can go out to Blossom here, I do have a Dazzling Gleam. I also have the Energy Ball. And I also have Hidden Power Ice. So I should be able to do some damage off onto that Tyranitar. I can't see me losing the Blossom. It looks like he's going to Mega Evolve the Tyranitar, which uh, is not a bad thing. Uh, definitely a good idea for him. He's lost, you know, he missed the Focus Blast. And as you can see, I'm going to lose some health there from the Sandstorm. Um, so I do regain that back with the Leftovers though, which is awesome. Uh, I could go for the Dazzling Gleam, or I could go for the Energy Ball. Either way, I'm just going to be able to do some damage uh, if I can get the attack off because I'm paralyzed, of course. So it looks like he's going to withdraw the Tyranitar. He's not going to have any of that. Uh, he's going to go out to the Torterra. Now with Torterra onto the field, I am going to get the Energy Ball off. Uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage uh, even to that Torterra, which is not bad, it's pretty decent. Uh, but I do still have the Hidden Power Ice. Now I'm not sure why he didn't go into his Infernape. The Infernape might have been a better idea. There's the Crunch. 
The crunch is going to hit Bella, and I'm going to take that like a champ. Here's the hidden power ice coming into play. And it's going to do massive damage onto that Torterra, which is awesome, and down goes the Torterra. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's probably thinking he should have gone into the Infernate now, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what he's going to do. Okay, just wait to see what he's going to bring out. He's going to bring out the Jolteon again, which I'm not too sure why he's gone out with the Jolteon. Uh, I am, however, going to go with a Dazzling Gleam here. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Now, the Shadow Ball, I should be able to survive that, no problem. There's the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, should be able to do some damage off onto that Jolteon. Not a whole lot, mind you. Uh, and then, of course, we're also going to get hit by the Sand Stream. Uh, the Leftovers are going to come back onto the... Uh... Ooh, did he get hit by the Sand Stream? I didn't see. Um, I'm going to go for the Energy Ball here for a stab. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball there again. Now the Shadow Ball has hit the Blossom, doing a lot more damage than before. And here we go. Going to do a lot more damage with the Energy Ball. Uh, I'm going to regain some health there with the Leftovers, of course. So I'm hoping that I'm going to survive one more hit of that Shadow Ball. Uh, not sure if I will or not, but I might also get uh, paralyzed, uh, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, I do survive by 13 hit points. There's the Energy Ball. The Energy Ball hitting onto the Jolteon, and awesome! We totally took that Jolteon down. Uh, so that's uh, a few Pokemon down on uh, Xavier's side. So that's the Star Raptor that's down, the um, Jolteon that's down, and the Torterra that's down. Uh, he still has his Mega Tyranitar. If he brought that back in at the moment, uh, he'll be able to get his Sandstream back up. Um, but I do have Tauros, and I still have the Kingler, the mighty Kingler. Uh, here he is coming in with the Infernape. Now, with Infernape onto the field, uh, I pretty well know for sure that I'm going to lose the Blossom. So I'm not going to risk Tauros or anything like that right at the moment. Uh, Bella did definitely did her job. Uh, looks like he's gone for a Shadow Claw, which is pretty smart. You don't want to go for a Flare Blitz to lose uh, any massive health. Uh, so let's go out to our own Infernape. So we've got our Infernape versus his Infernape. A lot of Infernape action going on here. Let's go for the Earthquake. Now the Earthquake should be able to do some damage off onto that Infernape. And it was super effective. We were able to take down uh, Xavier's Infernape because of the uh, attack advantage. Now I did lose some health there from the Life Orb that I have on the Infernape, which is perfectly fine. Uh, in comes the Tyranitar. Now that's probably not the best play right at the moment, mainly because I do have the Close Combat. Uh, the Close Combat is going to be super effective because the Tyranitar is a Dark type. So I'm not sure if that was the best play, and Polion would probably be better to switch into. Um, here's the close combat. Uh, there we are, we're able to hit onto that Tyranitar, and unfortunately, the Tyranitar is now fainted. Um, so all that is left is the Empoleon. Okay, just gonna wait for him to bring that out. Now, Empoleon is a water type and a steel type, right? So, I do have the Thunder Punch, and I also do have the Close Combat still. Now, if he has Aqua Jet, which he might, uh, it might be able to take down this Infernape because I have a defense drop uh, from the previous Close Combat. So, let's go for the Close Combat. He doesn't have Aqua Jet. There's the hit, and it is able to take out the Empoleon. So, I believe that is going to be game, if I'm not mistaken. Just gonna double check here. And thank you very much for the battle there, Xavier. Good game. Guys, if you guys enjoyed the battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments in the comment section below. Also as well, make sure you hit that sub button so that way you guys always know when my battles go live. Also, I've been doing a lot of battles on twitch.tv forward slash angel of the night 091. So be sure to check that out guys because a lot of the battles that you're seeing right now are battles that I haven't had on Twitch. A lot of the battles that happen on Twitch may not get uploaded to the channel, right? So be sure to check that out. 
I usually do about anywhere between 15 to 20 matches a night. So that's about five hours worth of battling straight forward. So be sure to check that out, guys. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day. I don't know where my fingers are. Hey, hey, there we go.